Ratchet and Clank is based off of the popular PlayStation game series, and when watching this movie, the opening credits, they had PlayStation Studios as an opening credit, and I was thinking to myself, who are you fooling? PlayStation doesn't make movies. I grew up playing Ratchet and Clank. Well, I grew up playing the first two games because I was preoccupied with a few other games. But the two first games that I played, I absolutely loved Ratchet and Clank. I loved the world. I loved the characters. I loved the story. Everything about those two games were amazing. So when they announced that they were making a Ratchet and Clank movie, I was a bit skeptical because, you know, it's not that popular now. This movie should have come out a while ago. I mean, I think they're still making Ratchet and Clank games, but I don't know how popular it is anymore. And this movie is about when the galaxy comes under the threat of a nefarious space captain, a mechanic played by Ratchet, and his newfound robot ally played by Clank join an elite squad to try to save the universe. Whoop de doo! This plot honestly doesn't sound that amazing. I mean, we've seen this plot many times, and this is definitely a kids' movie. When watching the trailer and they slap that line and kick. Boom, baby! Some asteroid. I knew it was gonna be a kids' movie. And this movie is filled with what essential to a kids movie. Not a family film where adults and kids can love it. This is just for where kids love it, filled with, you know, potty humor and a bland plot where kids are just gonna wanna watch the visuals and just kinda have fun with it, not really care about what's going on. But for me, I wanted to care about the storyline, which I didn't. I wanted to care about the characters, which I didn't. I wanted to care about the jokes, which I didn't. Everything about this film, I did not care about. And it's a shame because I love the games and I love the characters. Yes, Ratchet and Clank are the same, but it doesn't feel the same. I don't feel that nostalgic toward these characters. I don't feel that strength to the relationship. What makes them so different yet makes them work well together? That all wasn't there. The film was pretty boring, the plot was general, it lacked something interesting, the characters lacked something interesting, and overall I just did not really care about this film, which is a big bummer because I love the games and I was kind of excited to get back into this Ratchet and Clank world. Now the visuals were okay, um, they took some of the designs for the buildings and the world from the previous games and put them in there, which I appreciated. The characters look the same. They didn't give them new modernized look to it, which I appreciate as well. But overall, I just did not really care about this film. With that, I'm going to go ahead and give Ratchet and Clank a C. When are they going to make a great video game movie? When? I mean, the last great video game movie was Super Mario Bros. And that was a while ago. So remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Funko Meets for upcoming reviews. And you stay classy, YouTube.